Hey there, it's Regan from Regan V Films Tech on Shadow Royale Gaming. It's been a while because I've been busy with tons of directing and editing and all that stuff. But we're going to be back here on SRG. So we got a question today from Roy Gaming. I was going to say that, but that, there's a full username that's going for adding Forge upgrades and editing all the stuff. Now, this will be a bit complicated because I am not well at the because it's relatively the same. So first right here, make sure you have is legacy-upgradeshop.yml open, upgradeshop.yml open, and server.properties. While you have those open, uh, make sure that you have them ready to go. Now legacy-upgradeshop.yml and upgradeshop.yml, this should be in your SBA Hypixelify folder from your plugins folder basically. If it's not there, uh, I think you gotta probably reinstall SBA Hypixelify, unfortunately. So the first thing that we need to do is open server.prop if you have Minecraft versions 1.12 or below. If you have 1.12 and below, then go ahead and turn native transport to false. Now I have is the latest version right here, which I have basically, which is like 1.15 or 1. something like that. So they don't have a uh, native transport on it, so it's already enabled. But in here, just make sure that everything is all right. That's a good time to make sure everything is working correctly. If something is like the difficulty is not working well, then make sure that's not normal and etc. Now let's go over onto this upgrade shop and we will be putting is a generator. If that doesn't work, then put upgrade. So there we go, we got upgrade and another upgrade. So we got these two upgrades in here. And if we put an upgrade on this other one, it should be showing up the same thing. So it will go under upgrade entities and whatever it is. So this will be showing up in the upgrades tab of um, SBI Hypixelify every time you open up the upgrade shop. So the entity type, you can just put it in as if you want to have like a spawner or something like that and then the levels this is for your iron upgrade of the team blank notify team and etc 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 and then on upgrade shop.yml it's also actually this i gotta for i forgot to tell you it's between line 61 and 80. now here if we go check upgrade again it's between line 63 and 80. So they're relatively the same. So right in here, you can add in the levels like this one. And when they upgrade, it's going to be 0 0.5. I need to change this to 1.5 so it will be faster. Even though that will be unfortunately way too fast. But I'm going to do it anyways. So as right here, we're going to put 1.5. And then you can also put is the price on top. So right here is the level of the upgrade shop. And you can also change the price. Like right here, it's four iron. So we're gonna actually change that to 10 iron for this amount. And we're gonna change it also here. Now you might have to do it two times because there's a legacy dash upgrade shop and upgrade shop.yml because there are two extensions towards SBA Hypixelify and Screaming Sandals, also known as Screaming Bedwars. Now, while they're both in between, uh, you have to just figure it out and play around with it, and there's going to be tons of trial and error. Now, I can't do it all the time because I'm not babysitting you, because you have to learn it too, because I won't be there as much because of how busy I am. Now, uh, he also added is editing all the stuff. So I'm actually going to go into my hard drive, and we're going to pull up is just the shop itself. So here is the shop. And right here, you can see the type leather underscore helmet and etc. and all that stuff. So if you want to change this to be like, like something else, you can just put like, you just highlight it, legacy underscore something. There is a whole lot like these ones. Just, just follow the pattern. So like for this one, it's a diamond sword. It's about swords for, um, so right here, it's just. The selection don't play around with a column because it will mess up the game the price it can put 10 of iron so if i want this to be a uh, diamond or actually emerald i just put an emerald right there 10 of emerald 10 of diamond 10 of iron and they will all work together 
Uh, and you have to check it because if you do some error, then you know. So right here at the type, if you can see the pattern right here, it says stone underscore sword and it's on all caps. This one is iron underscore sword and it's all caps. Same as below. So as if you want to change this out, like if you want this to be iron, this to be gold, emerald sword, or which doesn't exist, uh, then you would have to do the same thing. So you would have to exit out. I'll have to copy and paste this just in case I forget. And I would put iron or either diamond underscore sword. Now when you do it, you don't just go all the way and go boom. You have to actually line it up and make sure it works. Let's search up YAML tester and it will make sure that everything is actually working correctly. Now as we move down to bows, you get to see two of gold. It's like the same thing and then there's like an amount. So for every purchase of two and they have gold, or 12 of gold, then they get an arrow of eight. That's for the type. So if you're gonna put sticks, then you put how many sticks you want. And for the bows, there's also enchantments if you wanna add that and arrow underscore damage. Uh, I don't know about if the amount will work, but it probably won't because it's one at a time. Now right here, I had modified it to 24 of gold where there's the bow, knockback damage and air damage so we'll actually uh decrease that maybe a bit but that will not intense the game right here is also with the bow and etc 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 right here is cooked pork chop because of the people that are hungry which i kind of don't like but it's really really annoying but it's still part of the plugin and i am not a coder or a plugin thingy i'm not the owner of this plugin so right here it's going to be showing as a row column number three and stack while these three they will be showing on it too is your menu. These items are going to be what type of food you have. Like a golden apple, bread, cooked, pork chop, and etc. You're going to have two, four, four. You're going to have two, four, four. Like if you have it at the store, you'll get two apples for four dollars or something like that. So it's like amount for um, purchase. Like how much it costs. So this will actually make as... Um, well, yeah, we're going to do that for that amount. And then this one... Is the golden apple for two of gold? Well, I'm gonna actually overprice that a bit and put it at 12 because it's kind of OP. And bread can just be there for like, you know, yeah, because like, because you know, like, yeah. And then right here, it's just the same exact thing, you know, it's just a repetitive, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And now there's gonna be this cool store.yml, which should be on your new update if you have Java 11, which you must have Java 11 in order for it to work. So right here, as you go down below, this is also known as upgrade shop but this is just a standard type. If you have SBA High Pixelify, you don't need to worry about it. But if you don't have SBA High Pixelify, then you have to copy and uh, replicate each one. So if you wanna add another um, item in here, like a sword or some sort, you have to copy, paste, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gotta restart right here, paste. And then you put in your price, the type, display name if you want to make it in color you have to search up a chart unbreakable true or whatever and that's what you just have to do really uh yeah so i'm Morgan from Morgan v films tech on shadow royale gaming hopefully this answers some stuff uh, i'll try and clarify it in the future and add more um plugins over the summer you know but yeah see you sometime soon see ya